Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I am Derek the Knitwit. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. And for all my wonderful subscribers, thanks for coming back. So today I started by waking up this morning thinking I'm going to be so productive and I'm going to get, I've got the sewing machine out. I'm going to get out and start, you know, going, working on this sewing project that I haven't worked on for a year. I very quickly remember why I haven't worked on it for a year. I don't have the skill level for it yet. So what I've done, I managed to do, I was, I was quite proud of myself. I got the interfacing put on. And I got it um, basted together. Sorry, I had to look at it because suddenly I was thinking that I had done it wrong, but no, it's supposed to be inside out, so it would, you know. So there's this. And I will say, I didn't cut very well when I did, when I cut this out a year ago. But the way I figure it is I can keep, I can try it and it either works out or it doesn't. Either way, the, you know, the material, the fabric's already been cut. So I did okay. I got to that part. And then the next part was taking one of the pockets, putting this little bottom pleat in it. I don't even think you can see it. Um, over here. I swear there's a pleat there on both sides and then the spice tape. This bias tape is of the devil. I know. How do you get it to go around the corners? And like I'm folding it and like I like I used to do when I did origami and I'm hoping that's it and but then how do you turn the corner and then how do you get this? Well, hello. That just gave up on me. Oh, it's because I shut my... Yeah, we're going to get that back up there. There we go. Okay, come on. Ha-ha! I shut my laptop. So, yeah. I need iron-on bias tape. I mean, is that a thing? Can it be a thing? Can someone make that a thing? Because this. I stitched my bias tape. My fabric's not in there. So, I got so frustrated with this. I couldn't even trust myself to use the handy-dandy little seam ripper that I actually have that so looks like something you would find in a bathroom and I know some of y'all are going to know what I'm talking about most men probably not but I have seam ripper I couldn't trust myself to use it because I just wanted to chunk everything across the room so it's going back in the box and I'm not working on it tomorrow but I'm not tossing it because at some point, even if I can't be the one to salvage it, someone will be able to. <coughs> now, the person that taught me at the craft class that I take, or that at the at the craft store that I've gone to, they um, they also teach the sewing course, I believe. And if not, they at least know how to sew and whatnot. They're more advanced than I am on that. They, also, they, they do a lot of craft stuff. So I am in the process of reaching out to her to see about getting help with sewing. So I put that aside and I went back to working on the F-bomb that I am um, working on because, you know, it's, I drop. I'm so happy that I haven't done it on camera that I Caught myself or that he was caught yet so far but yeah I dropped the f-bomb quite a bit so what I did is I have the, this from this pattern that I use to make it's called the pattern is for called an ideal sphere and um it's what I used to make my cat toys now this is the bigger size ball um it 
depending on the gauge of the needle and the thread, you know, whatnot, just a little bit. But this is the, the biggest size that I have in the pattern, down to, you know, these itty bitty ones that Little Miss, I don't know if I can, oh. This thing that was so cute when um, first made it, yeah, it's Kindred. Little Miss likes, and this is like one of her favorite things, especially since she so far hasn't found the Mylar balls again. She carries this around, and it's just so cute. Cause she just, you know. but yeah, it's, start, it's starting to look well worn and will probably disappear after I make them a couple new ones. So, <coughs> and all I have left to do basically on this, excuse me, I seriously need to get it out and get some Claritin. <coughs> but that would involve going out and dealing with humanity. Um, <coughs> I feel fine. I just, it's, I have all that crud in my throat, and so it messes with my voice. So I've got the neck made. Yeah, I've got my hook in there, so I don't lose it. Because I always keep a hook with whatever the project is, so just so I don't have to remember what size hook I was using. But I've got, and you can't really tell, but I've got the neck made. So all I need is just the end cap. And so I will do that tomorrow, and then I will crochet, figure out a way to crochet the letter F, and I'm pretty sure I can find a, a pattern online for that, and figure out what color I want it in, and then make the fuse, and I'll have my F-bomb done. So. <coughs> Those are all the projects I've worked on today so far, and what I'm wanting to do, the thing we're doing is, I want to use StreamYard to set up where I have can show a split screen where one screen where I'm working with my diamond paintings, where with the stream art I can have, you know, one of my phones showing, and when I'm talking about like one of my phones, I mean I save every phone that I have because I have apps on them, burning and earning me, you know, a little bit of money here and there. But I set up a camera where it's aiming down at. The diamond painting that I'm working on and another one like aiming at me so that you know you're not just bored staring at the diamond painting I thought that would be a neat we a neat thing to do on a live stream so that if people that are interested in diamond painting but that haven't gotten into it yet if they had questions they could have you know be there to ask questions and um, other people that are involved in diamond painting and see what I'm doing and they decide they have you know tips or tricks that work for them that I could you know try out and um, so if you're interested in a live stream of that let me know in the comments and um, also maybe if you're not interested in doing it as a live stream but as a um, an act like an actual uploaded video I could check into seeing a way that I could do that I know that I think with some of the paid versions of like of StreamYard you can record like that without um, uploading it, I need to, the video editor that I use, I need to look to see if they have the ability to um, do the dual screen. Another thing that I could do would be just to have the, you know, camera pointed down at the diamond painting on, you know, warp speed and do voiceover on it. So just let me leave me a comment. Let me know, you know, if you're interested in that at all, and say, you know, like what style would you be interested in? So now, as far as um, as far as a brain fart, we have a huge one here. Uh, no clue. Anyway, on to the next thing. I got Happy Mail today. No, no massive haul. Although I did get a a an email saying that the shelving system that I ordered that was supposed to be delivered anywhere from February 5th to February 10th is theoretically going to be delivered on Monday by FedEx so yay so I'm looking forward to that one but I did get in the mail this lovely thank you card from Charlene at Charlene's Crochet Corner 
So I, I very much appreciate that. I have a, this, it's not a bulletin board because it's, I mean, you know, you think of bulletin board, you think of the court board. It's not that. It, I made it out of wire uh, hangers. Well, here, let me show you. Uh, yeah. Go dark with me here. It is giant jumbled mess. But it is, I made this out of um, wire hangers. And then just, you know, wire wrapped them. And, come on, I'm trying to get, there we go. And then with um, wire and then Gorilla glued them. So. That is, see my voter registration up there. But yeah, this is why I've got all my little stuff. I've got my frog there, postcard my sister sent me from when she went to Canada. My essential oil locket. Froggy necklaces from previous times going to um, Mexico. Me in a photo booth. I went and socialized last year on Valentine's. It was a banquet. A birthday card. So, yeah. So, Charlene's um, card will end up on that, um, on my bulletin board. So, but other than that, there's no, um, not a lot going on today. I'm just chilling out, enjoying the beginning of the weekend. And I think I'll probably spend the rest of the evening knitting and um watching youtube of course because you know that's where we all stay so that i think this will be long enough for today sorry the automatic air freshener we take turns who's get startled me or the cats and you know i'm just gonna chill out and watch youtube and i will check in with you guys tomorrow